Hello and welcome to my Teachable versus Learn Worlds comparison. What I'm going to be doing is giving you the quick cliff notes of some of the biggest differences between these two online course platforms to help you choose what's going to be the best version for you specifically. Now, like I do with many comparison videos, I will leave my reviews for each of these platforms deeper in the description that will allow you to get even more detail about them as opposed to just the cliff notes here. So let's start off first with Teachable. So there's going to be quite a few perks or reasons why you might want to use Teachable. I've used both of these. And in comparison, I think that Teachable is a little bit more simple and seamless. Getting up and running with your course is going to be a breeze, whether it's the steps that they have there, everything laid out in a nice version. And there's nothing that's too complicated to get even on your first try. And I think that's a big win there, especially when it comes to Teachable. Aside from that, I think Teachable is going to be the better platform if you're going to sell lower ticket items. And the reason this is very specifically, I'm not going to highlight much of the free usage for these, more so about the paid plans, because of course, you can always use free for yourself. And if upgrading, that's usually where you're going to need some help. So let's look at just their first basic upgrade, which is going to be a 5% transaction fee. Not too bad. If you have to upgrade from that, you're going to get 0% transaction fees. But if we take a look at the Learn World's first plan right here, you're going to look, it's going to be $5 per course sale. And that's pretty steep in my opinion. If you want to move transaction fees, you're going to have to go to Pro Trainer or Learning Center. But if we were just comparing the starter and the basic here, this is 5% compared to $5 per course. Now, in my opinion, it's going to be much harder to sell the lower ticket items with Learn Worlds. Imagine if you were selling a $10 product, automatically 50% of that is going to be gone just from the transaction fees from Learn Worlds. So that's something to keep in mind. If you are looking to utilize Teachable, I'd say some of the lower price courses are going to be a much better option for that. And lastly, I think overall that Teachable has better monetization features and options. I'm not saying that Learn Worlds doesn't have any of these, but the fact that you get order bumps, upsells, referrals, affiliates, and coaching is a great way to not only kind of like negate the monthly fee, but add even more sales and revenue on top of the courses that you're already selling. Those are fantastic. They're easy to set up. I do have tutorials for most of those as well. And I think that's a very big highlight when it comes to Teachable. So those are a lot of the reasons why I would recommend Teachable. As you can see on the screen in front of you, you can try them out for free. My link will be down below in case you want to check them out. Now, on the other hand, we have Learn Worlds. And right off the bat, one of the biggest reasons why you might want to use them instead of Teachable is that you want more than just courses. You're looking for more of like an all-in-one platform. This is something I realized right off the bat is that they're much bigger than just having your courses. And once again, let's hop on over to the pricing where we can see some of the perks with that. So with that in mind, something I want to bring up that Teachable doesn't even have is going to be the community aspect. While it might be a little bit basic, it's certainly something. It's a step up compared to what Teachable has. As when I did my Teachable review, one of the biggest dislikes is that they didn't have a community. And if you wanted to use it, you had to utilize or integrate with another software. So that's a leg up when it comes to Learn Worlds. Also, when it comes to an all-in-one platform, there is the ability to create webinars, as you can see right here, live classes and webinars if you want to utilize that. They also have plenty more bigger features, not just for courses, but like the ability to add pop-ups and subscriptions, as well as many features for boosting the learning experience, as you can see here. Unfortunately, many of these are going to be with the $2.99 per month plan, like interactive video, audio transcripts and subtitles, advanced assessments, and of course, a few more perks right there. For example, a lot of these Teachable doesn't have. So Learn Worlds really emphasizes not only on the courses, but providing a better learning experience and just overall giving you so much more, giving it the option of being like the better all-in-one platform. So while it might cost a little bit more once you got in the pro trainer and the learning center, aside from the starter, which is pretty reasonably priced, they do have that bigger all-in-one platform feature. So if you're looking for something like that, where you can get more out of the actual platform that you're going to be on, then Learn Worlds, in my opinion, is going to be right for you. Once again, I will leave a link down for them below as well. They do come with the ability to try them for free, which is always a good thing. So that's the comparison when it comes to Learn Worlds for Teachable. I hope this helped you pick out the right platform for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below in case there was any specific features you were interested in or just wanted to know if they had something and the other platform doesn't. I can always help you out that way. Anyway, my name is James. I hope this video helped you out. And don't forget to test out which online course seems best for you. They both come with the ability to try them for free. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.